Rochester, and I get to see that uh, that ledge trapping, at, uh, just the item play in action is really something, something to behold when you play against this character. So they're starting Town and City, so third straight game team's gotten to play on Town and City. Um, immediately going in, 62% conversion off of just one neutral interaction. All right, Nair into up air, good stuff. Yeah, I think Rob Nair is going to be pretty solid in this matchup. It's going to make it a little bit harder for Bayonetta to, I think, approach your afterburner kick. So you can Nair it out. Um, also, Rob's a pretty heavy character. Yeah. Um, the only downside, Rob's recovery, fairly susceptible. So you, I think we'll see Tamim offstage a ton against this character as well. All right, good Great chaser with chase. the grab. Oh, He's going to catch him with the side out. B. Yeah, good stuff. Great there from Cyrus. Do you know this is a Buffalo player? Um, Cyrus? Yeah. Uh, I'm not too familiar with a lot of Buffalo players. Oh, okay. I know, I know some Rochester players, I know some Syracuse players. Oh, okay. Good stuff from him. Oh, man, yeah. Very solid go. One for the up smash there, but got caught with the witch Ooh. twist. You know what? That almost didn't kill him. Yeah. I, that, that goes to say just like how heavy this this character is. It's going to be hard for like Bayo to, to keep that momentum going. The gyro. Oh my god, and the taunt! So it's either a jump from ledge or a drop down. He timed that down air so good. Yep. Cut it as soon as Timmy made a decision. So this is a this is a commanding lead for Rob right now. This is. Rob Nairn. So yeah, as we can see, like Cyrus now, like he's just doing a good job of keeping Tamim out, as opposed to that last game where we saw like Tamim just be able to run. Right. Yeah. Just all over. And uh, a Gyro, I think, does place like a, such a crucial role in this matchup because uh, you know, unlike something like a Fire Hydrant, it's like a very active hitbox. So even if you want to rush in on this character, like you, you still have to like slow it down a bit. Yeah. I do know. It's, it's supposed to be a Bayo favored matchup. Um, most of the Robs I talked to say it was his worst matchup in Smash 4, and it's actually still his worst matchup now. Um, just because of just what Bayo can do to Rob off stage, where it's like he can stall out a lot of characters, but it's like Bayo can just follow him. Um, so we're seeing a little bit more of that from Tamim now. Um, it makes sense. I mean, you it's very easy to just like combo this character. Ooh, okay. Try to which time that, I like to call it a dreidel, but. Good DI from Tamim there. Not gonna do out of that full rage side B. Oh, he's gonna fall out of that jab though. It's conversion. So yeah, now it's just like, what is Bayo gonna do to kill in this situation? Safely? I know, yeah. This is such a scary spot for Tamim because he has to close this out and then he's, I mean, you know, Bayo can definitely bring it back by racking up the damage, but then he's just gotta close out the stock again after that. So you're seeing that gyro still. Um, in effect, walling out Bayo. Good parry. I get cut by the dash attack, so still doable for Tamim. Um, Cyrus is going to be able to probably end the stock with, I'd say, a good bear um, or potentially a grab. Because um, he could parry. Cyrus, I think, has to just be a little bit careful not to give Tamim too much respect, because if he does, then uh, Tamim can definitely run away with it. Oh, he's off stage. We're going to share. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> A reminiscence of Smash 4 Bayo there is Tamim. Clutches that game out, taking Rob across the stage on a ride. Tamim really showing us why you cannot sleep on this character at all. It all started with a down tilt. Great stuff to him there. It's crazy to hear people in the crowd actually hype for this kind of thing again, yeah. honestly. <laughs> I, I would have half expected, like, you know, uh, no, not again, but. So now. Oh, I thought it was going to go Isabel, yeah. So oh, not again, but... Main thing for Cyrus is just, like, he can't lose that confidence. He played a great game last time. It's oh, just, yeah. like, he lost that neutral interaction at the end. It looks like we're running it back. Yeah, it's back to town and city. I saw Cyrus take a breath. He's going to be like, okay, I pretty much had pretty much had game one. I just got to keep that, that uh, momentum going. I should be fine for this game two here. Oh. All right, nice, nice air dodge there. So that was similar to the situation that happened at the end of that last game, honestly. These conversions are just so great. They're catching with that dare falling down. Oh, oh taunt. and the taunt. Okay. It's me really trying to get in, in uh, Ember's head. Uh, Ember's head here. 
I'm right now. So like I was saying oh, okay. um, about why this matchup can be rough, it's just Rob can't get back on stage sometimes. That makes sense. And we kind of saw that earlier with that, I mean, with that down air. Oh, man. More taunts, the Bayo Classic. To me, I'm either really feeling himself or he's really trying to put Cyrus on tilt. That's just a bayonetta thing. Kill. It was really good of him to just jump over that, that laser and come right in with a side beat. Back air. Every chance he gets, he's going to taunt. Just got to be careful to me. Don't, don't pull up taunt to get bodied. It's downward after burner kick to fair. Good conversions. So now we see Tamim really just like, he's taking control of this game too as opposed to game one where he kind of let Cyrus camp him out. Um, but now he's not necessarily more aggressive, but uh, he's catching on to Cyrus' patterns more. Yeah, no, that's a really good observation. He is able to sort of navigate through Rob's uh, just wall and get in there to get his combo started. Right. Started. I got him with that bear. I think he went for a parry, but that's it. Great conversions. Taking him for right off the top. Not gonna kill though. Taking him out. Ooh. Is he gonna die for that though? I no. think I, I think I kinda kinda have to leave you for a second. Oh you got wave beep? Okay, go ahead. I'm beep. not I'm not sure. I'll I'll go check with them and I'll... Yeah, no problem. It was a it was a pleasure. I hope we can oh, yeah. keep doing this. I hope I hope I can get right back into it. Great catch there from Cyrus with that back air. So yeah, to me, applying a lot more pressure, I would say, from the air now with these downward afterburner kicks. Gonna catch him with the Witch Twist off stage, but um, Zara sets up on the other side of him, so he's gonna be able to live that. Back throw down tilt. Oh, platform wasn't there, that might have been death. We're gonna catch him with that bear through the platform. And this is a lot of what I was saying, where it's just. Bayo can just abuse Rob while she's off stage. So good stuff to Tamim there, taking it 2 over Cyrus Ember and advancing to the winner's side of top 32. All right, looks like I came back just in time. Let me see this here, this beautiful replay.